Hey guys, Ian here, and welcome to another creature creation session happening live on Twitch. Today I'm going to be taking a random list of 12 different animals, not this list that you're seeing here, these are just the ones that come up automatically with the website. So once I've got those 12 animals, I'm going to either narrow it down to just three animals, or if there's a lot that I like different things from, then maybe I'll try and combine a whole bunch of them and see which different elements I like before moving forwards. Okay, so without any more ado, let's generate our 12 random animals, and here we are, they are... A kangaroo, a hedgehog, a budgerigar, a ram, a moose, a walrus, a squirrel, a dog, a grizzly bear, a muskox, a wombat, and a reindeer. Let's start splicing some of these animals together and see what we come up with, and see whether we can create a new, weird, and wonderful creature. The sketches that I started with are very, very simple and not refined in any way at all. They're simply there to try and get an idea and an impression of the different animals that I could come up with. I was generally taking sort of about three from the 12 and combining them together with various different attributes to see what could fit and what different animals were potentially possible. There were a couple of the 12 that I didn't actually end up using, and there were probably many more combinations that I could have used, but I very quickly came across a couple of creatures that I really enjoyed the design of and wanted to move forward with. That being said, there was one in particular that was standing out to both me and the Twitch chat, and that was the one that I decided to move forward with. After exploring the 12 different animals that I got from the random list generator, I've come up with these four different animals combining various features of each of them. You can see here we've got a bear with the reindeer, we've got the musk ox here with the uh, antlers from the moose. So here's another one that I especially like. This is a hedgehog with the tusks from a walrus on the body of a kangaroo. I really like this one. But the one that the Twitch chat and I have decided is going to be the most fun is this guy. This is a budgie with the squirrel and a ram. And it, I'm actually going to be using the skull from a ram. So these are going to be tiny little songbird demons. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do like a flock of them maybe in the trees or maybe up in like the telephone wires or something. I don't know. But we're going to have an entire flock of these demon birds, little tiny demon songbirds. I think it's going to be super cool. So I'm going to sit down and we're going to design these guys out properly and then I'm going to get on with the final piece. Before I get started on the final design, I decided to take a look at the actual creature itself and come up with a couple of different ideas. So I combined the different animals together in different ways, added the squirrel legs to them, budgie legs to others, changed the species of ram that I was using so it had different horns and things to try and get a real feel of the anatomy and the potential ways that the creature could end up looking. When I come up with a design that I was relatively happy with, I started moving forward with the final piece, and I decided to portray these creatures up in the branches, sort of as a bit of a flock, maybe coming into land um, after soaring around in the sky. So I knew I wanted to have maybe one or two which were really close to camera and a whole bunch back in the distance. So I concentrated mostly on trying to get some personality into the two closest to the camera. So I decided to have one more in the distance coming into land was the one who was the central focus for the piece. Sort of having a go at the one that was coming into land like you often see small birds do when they when they kind of get cl too close to one another they tend to have a bit of a bit of a, an argument amongst themselves and I want to try and capture that kind of feeling in this piece. As with pretty much all of my artworks, the line work never really reaches a refined state. I like to have a very sketchy feeling to the line work, simply because it's much easier, much faster to refine as you go, especially when you paint like I do, and I, I'm not interested in having the line work at the end of the day, that'll all go away. I'm mostly interested in, the, in creating the shapes and the volumes of the creatures, so as long as the line work is representative of the anatomy enough for me to get a feel of the creature when I'm putting in the lighting and the, trying to create form from that lighting, that's all I really need. I don't need to really refine the line work just as long as it's enough for me to get an impression of the animal. Probably the most complicated part for me personally of this picture was to create the feathers and the textures of the feathers. It's not something that I tend to draw regularly as birds, and it's something that I, I definitely should concentrate more on. 
wings and feathers are something which I find if they are painted or drawn wrong it's very noticeable but they are also very complicated to get right in the first place, they take a lot of study. Two different species of birds will quite often have similar structure to their wings but the patterning and the way that the feathers lay across each other and even how they the wings look when they're in flight can be completely different so you need to study a wide range of birds in order to get the feathers of each bird right so if you're like me and haven't had the opportunity to study a wide range of birds having a reference is really really useful i definitely used a lot of references when i was looking at the anatomy the patterns and the the textures of the budgie i talk a lot about lighting in my paintings and this is a really good one representing how dramatically it can change a picture i wanted to give the painting a very tropical feeling so i really overexposed some of the areas really blew out some of the hotter areas where the sun was hitting most directly to give that that feeling like this is a very warm very sunny place that these creatures are living and wherever you have a very bright sun you'll also have very intense shadows so it's important to try and balance those two things off of one another to really sell that hot tropical feeling the very last thing that I want to talk about during this painting is the importance of labelling your layers. Towards the end of this painting, I accidentally deleted a layer that I just created, which just happened to be the entire second bird. Thankfully, I had just basically backed up that layer, so it wasn't that great a loss, but had that happened just fractionally beforehand, I would have lost several hours of work simply because the layer wasn't labelled. So there you have it. Label your layers, otherwise you'll lose your work. So, there you have it. After just over five hours of painting, this is what our budgie squirrel ram has ended up looking like. And it has been affectionately named the Ramjaw Raven by Twitch chat. I really like the way that this one came together. I had absolutely no idea what to expect from it when I started it. And from our original 12 animals, we've got another three that we could potentially finish up again in the future. But for the time being, this one, I am so happy with the way that it came out. It looks so cool. I wish these things were real and actually flying around the world. I know a few people in the Twitch chat who have said that they'd love to have them as pets and I can absolutely see why they look like a heap of fun even though they are basically budgie demons. So there you go, if you have enjoyed this video make sure that you do hit the like button and if you'd like to join in any of these future creature creation streams then make sure to follow the link in the description and follow me over on Twitch. So once again if you have enjoyed this video please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video for my next creature creation.